Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So um, yes, another unboxing. This is not really a surprise. I was planning on purchasing this a while back when I purchased my Hermes uh, loafers. I saw this item there but I didn't really take a photo of it so I was thinking about it and then one of my uh, friends here, she had recommended me uh, her sales associate so I said you know what I'm gonna get an appointment because nowadays you have to get an appointment to get into the boutique just because they want to maintain the social distancing so last time when I went I was just I just went in as a walk-in and I was lucky that I was able to get in but other than that you do have to get an appointment and if you try to call the boutique we have only one flagship here in Toronto and like it's really hard to get through on the phone line and to make an appointment so it, it does help if you have a sales associate that you can directly contact and then they can put you in so I didn't have a designated sales associate here in Toronto we do have a sales associate in Las Vegas and in France uh, and that's it just so happens that when we're vacationing that's when we shop at Hermes we just don't shop in our home city and I think it's I think it has to do with the fact that all the shops that are open in Yorkville, which is where all the flagships are, they open at like 10 or 11 o'clock and they close at 6. So it's been it's it's hard to kind of go when you're working throughout the day. Now I I do have a weekday off. Uh, I never used to really have a day off before, so it was really hard for me to go and run errands and shop. But now I do take uh, at least one weekday off so I can do this sort of thing and kind of have some me time. So um, that's why I'm able to go in and show you guys around on my Insta stories. But anyway, so uh, the sales associate that my friend had referred uh, said uh, that she'll put this item on hold for me. So it is a very heavy bag and it's a very large box. It is not. A bag. <laughs> it's not a bag. Anyway, so there's my receipt and it comes in a very large orange bag. Um, the transaction was very smooth. I was like in and out. But anyway, here is the box and then you've got the ribbon. And it's a very practical Canadian purchase, okay? So uh, the item code's on there and I'll show it to you guys. But we're going to open it up. And it is a pair of shoes, okay? So, oops, a pair of shoes. They each have their own dust bag, which is really nice. And they are combat boots. So they're very, very tough looking, and I'll get up close. So they're very subtle. Like they've got a very thick sole, and then there's a bit of this is the marking here this is the only sort of branding that you see on the shoe and very very um, durable definitely not something that I'm gonna slip and slide in so the really great thing about these boots that attracted me was what for one thing that they're um, they're not too high and they're not too low okay so they are combat style but they're not overly high uh, one advantage is that this does not have any obvious logo aside from a little bit of branding that's on the side but a lot of people don't really recognize what this is so if I was to wear a logo belt and maybe a handbag with a logo on it that it's not like too much it's great to neutralize the outfit but also um, there isn't any sort of hardware on it too right so there isn't like any silver hardware there's no like gold buckles so I can wear whatever I like if I wanted to wear a bag with silver hardware it will go uh, if I wanted to wear gold it'll go although it doesn't really matter a lot of people mix their metals but it's just kind of nice that you don't have to worry about it We'll open up the laces. The laces, they it comes with another pair of laces, I believe. So I'll, I'll pull it out. I'll insert some mod shots as well so you can see what they look like. But on the inside, they're full, full leather, guys. Like, fully leather. Um, you can really feel the quality of these shoes. Uh, so, yes, definitely something. Uh, if you live in a colder climate, it's good to invest in some pretty durable shoes <laughs> that will keep you not so much warm but keep you from sliding and I do uh, I used to struggle with um, well we're not going out these days anyway but I used to struggle before you know in the winter time what to wear with my outfit like I can't really wear heels because even if 
the streets are plowed, there's always a little bit of ice. And I remember wearing boots with a heel and I was like scared for my life that I was gonna like fracture my leg or <laughs> sprain my ankle. So it's nice to have something a little bit more stylish. You do not need to get the Hermes version. Um, there are lots of combat boots on the market, but I really like these because they were subtle. If you guys remember my previous unboxing, I did do, um, you know, the Chanel uh, winter boots from Metia 2020. Those are very popular. I do have those as well, but I wanted something luxe, um, but you know, with very little branding, you know, and, and they're Hermes, which, you know, it's really nice to have one of their pieces. I really enjoy wearing the loafers that I purchased. They are very, very comfortable, very good quality. I'll pull the other one out so you can see them together. So here they are, and I'll show you some mod shots as well. I also got some Hermes uh, try-on socks, which is really nice. So they do come with another dust bag with laces and they have black laces. So I was wondering, um, because I may not want the lighter contrast laces, but you get black laces with it as well, which is really, really nice. So anyway, uh, I'll insert the style code here. These were apparently the last ones in Canada in my size, so I'm a size 40. Um, and so it was really nice of that sales associate to put them on hold for me so that I can come and purchase them. Uh, but I, maybe I should have gone on it earlier because they had a lot more sizes available. So if you are looking for something very similar, um, these are it. I think they only came, I, I could have sworn I saw them in a lighter color last time I was there, but she said that no, they, they only received them in black. So maybe I'm just hallucinating. But um, I think other countries might have different colors. So if you're looking for, basically I, I call them the Hermes version of Timberlands really so super super happy they are a bit heavy but they're heavy in a good way okay and i asked her i said well what should i do to treat them i'm not an expert on this and she's worked in shoes uh, for a number of years and she said you can use um, mink oil to uh, you know treat them uh, to repel any sort of salt or moisture um, so here in canada if you wanted to wear these in the winter um, or in any shoe really salt is like your worst enemy um, When the snow is down, it looks pretty and very, you know, fairy tale Christmassy But then it gets ugly and nasty and gray and slushy if you guys live here, you know what I'm talking about Okay, and there's just salt everywhere. It's all in the cars. It gets on your coat it's just everywhere and Salt is the worst thing for leather. So she had suggested, you know what? when you get out of your car or if you're walking and you notice there's some slush or snow on it, just take a cloth and wipe it off so that it's not there and it doesn't eat up the leather. Um, now, if you apply your own treatment products, apparently that voids any sort of warranty on these. So if they were gonna send them back to France to get repaired or treated or whatnot, they'll see that you applied an oil to them or some product and they'll say, well, it's treated and we can't do anything about it. So it was kind of like a catch-22, right? So if you if you want to treat it at your own risk, you can. But I mean, their shoes at the end of the day, they're going to get dirty. The good news is because they've got a pretty solid tread, you're going to be kind of walking on top of everything. And you know, I'm probably not going to wear this when there's like a foot of snow outside. For that, I have like my um, UGG Adirondacks, uh, those boots to wear that keep your feet snugly warm. Uh, and are good for snow. So <laughs> these are to look stylish. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I will do a comparison shot of the boots that I have right now and maybe style them with some outfits to give you some inspiration, but most likely I'll probably wear this with leggings or long dresses and skirts. So that sums up everything. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.